places you may have heard it. This is Peter Jack Rainbird. Thank you so much. Um, the first time I heard your music, I was at the community park in Parksville. I had my kids in the park, and we hear this music. Is that in my head? Is that for real? And you wander uh, over to the beach, and there you are underneath the gazebo, just playing and, and creating for the atmosphere. And also, Tynamara, the grotto spa there. Um, I think everyone goes into a deep relaxation with this kind of music. I'm holding the mic to my mouth, and I don't need it, I've just realized. Now, you have created a CD, but um, it, that was sort of all happened by accident. I'm going to do a little bit of a brag list for you, and then um, you've been playing music for around 20 years, and you've had the opportunity to play with notables like Tony Levin. Am I pronouncing yeah, the name sure. properly? Yeah, Tony Levin, yeah. um, Who played with Peter Gabriel and Pink Floyd, a Peter Lockett who plays with Bjork. How did you end up here? Uh, in Canada or in British Columbia? Well, here on the island in Canada, you're, you're <laughs> from you're from the UK. Sure, I was living in Toronto, and then I'd been working and playing and touring, and, and life was great. And then I got offered an opportunity to come to British Columbia for a break and just to see another side of Canada. And so I took that with just the intention of taking a few weeks, and I just fell in love with BC and the people here and the way people just you know, uh, conduct their communities, the music here, and yeah, and that was a couple of years ago. It was only supposed to be a few weeks. And, so. and you, you told me that you didn't have any ambition. You were taking a sabbatical. You were yes. on a break. How did the music <laughs> then find you again? Yeah, I, so when I came out for a break, yeah. I then just decided to let the music breathe. And I think for most people, when they've done something for a period of time, maybe a decade or so, yeah. you want to just let it settle down for a while. Right. And then I just started to explore music again as a personal exploration of sound and emotion. And then this is what emerged. And then I just felt compelled to share that with people publicly, civically. And then from that came just all of the wonderful events and support. And it's it been it great. It seems to be taking off in the last yeah, couple of months. Yeah, it just has a life of its own. Yeah. It's, a, it's a different sensation from maybe pushing to make something happen to suddenly feeling like pulled and compelled into contributing and getting excited about what people are doing in the different towns. Now so you've said this. What is this? <laughs> How do you describe this music? I, 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 I'm going to describe it, not that we hear, but that we sure. experience. It gets to the core. It really does. I don't know. You know, I, I asked a friend last night. I emailed a friend in Boston, and I was like, we've, we've got this thing. We're going to be on the show, and they're going to ask what, what genre it is. <laughs> and so they Googled, and the, the names were endless in terms of genre. And so... I just leave it open and, and people decide, they, they hear different things in it from uh, soundscape stuff to, I mean, I was brought up on opera and Motown, yeah. so I don't know if that's in there at all. I had this, my parents were crazy opera fans. Yeah. All our dogs were named after operas. Okay. Yeah. And um, Rainbird is your real, Peter Jack Rainbird is yeah. your real name. We're going to clarify that. We will, sure, Everybody just for asks. the record. Yeah, yeah and I, I said I would that. admit my middle name is Daffodil, so great. we're we'll from the same great. era, maybe. Yes. Sure. Uh, <laughs> now, scripted versus mm -hmm. structured versus spontaneous. Right. Can you repeat the exact thing twice? How, how structured is it? Yeah, well, one of the challenges about going in and making a record and then going and performing it live. Right. For me, one of the most defining questions is, how are you going to do it live? Can you do it live? And, and the music started... And, still, and live up to what people right. expect from hearing it recorded. Because then people want to take that home and experience it themselves, right. either at home or in the cars or on their iPods. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that creative challenge then just brought about the evolution of the music live. So playing in Parksville, Nanaimo, Tofino, was the process of exploring the music and then it was informing the choices creatively. So there's structure, but there's spontaneity inside it. Kind of like life, you know? If it's all spontaneity, nothing's happening. Too much structure, it's no fun. What so. One of the questions I had, and we've got about a minute left. Sure. I know you've got followers all over the world, and I'm, sure. I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, what, what do you think people get from your music? And then on the flip side, what do you get from the people who are getting something out of what you do? Oh my goodness. It's an exchange. It really. is an exchange. And it's always an unexpected and wonderful exchange and there's always magic and great stories and people's stories are as unique as my experiences with the music mm -hmm. so it, you can't you can't pin it down i don't think you'd want to pin it down you right. just, just you know just let it go pinning it down would change it ruin it almost sure you don't yeah. want to put your finger on it you know yeah. there's something that, that and and everybody has their own experience and so it's just a joy to hear their stories and what they have 
garnered from the music and then what they're able to bring back in terms of encouragement and, and support. I so am getting the rap signal. Yeah, I wouldn't be me and it wouldn't be a show if no. I didn't ignore it at least once, which okay. I'm going to do a little bit right now okay. because <laughs> you're that guy. I'm going to be I'm real quick. Guy. People come up to you and say, you're yes. that guy. It and they go, you go, yeah. And they go, oh, okay, thanks. And then they and run then they off leave. and they don't even know what guy, but you're that guy. It happens, yeah. I'll be in wherever, the supermarket and, or the store or the coffee shop. And, and I don't know who that guy and is. It could be another guy. <laughs> I just, I just say yes, and once they've had that confirmed, they're yeah. off. Th right. That's it, the end of the conversation. But we're assuming they mean that guy I think under mean the gazebo in the Parks Hill speech. That guy. Okay, we're going to hear one more time from that yeah. guy, who is Peter Jack Rainbird. Here he is once again live for us on the show. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Woo! As I kick your gear around. Okay. No, stress that might have existed is instantly gone. That is Peter Jack Rainbird Unravel is the name of a CD that he has just put out in collaboration with Tynamara Resort. You can get the CD through his website. More information on Peter Jack Rainbird through his website, peterjackrainbird.net.